Hello there, this is Balaji and I am super excited to have you all here. In this particular session, I am going to show you how to do image compression using your c .NET program. In order to do that image compression, I am going to use one of the APIs called TinyPNG. So, in order to use that API, open your browser and then go to this particular URL, tinypng.com slash developers and then here you want to enter your name and then your email address and then click this get your api key button so once you click this api key button you will get an email from this tiny png team in order to log in into your dashboard so the email will be like this and then you want to click this particular button to go to your dashboard okay so i actually went to my dashboard and then click this add a api key button so it is used to create a new api key and then you can copy this api key and then you can use it in your projects okay so and then now go to your dotnet application actually create a new dotnet based application i have created a new c -sharp based windows form application and then i design my application like this first i will give you the workflow basic workflow of my application now i will run my application i just created a wrapper for my application to work so here is the browse button i want to browse for an image okay that image is appear in this particular picture box it is nothing but the picture box and then now what i want to do is i want to click this compress button i will click this compress button now nothing is happening but here what i want to do is i want to get the compressed version of this particular image okay and then i want to display that image in this picture box and then i also want to display the size of the image the compressed image in this particular label and then I want to save the compressed image by clicking this save button. Okay, so this is the basic workflow of my application. I have attached a link to my source code in the video description. Suppose if you don't understand that code means you can just ask me you can just um, ask your queries in the comment section i am ready to answer you and even if possible i will try to create a new tutorial on that particular topic okay so now what i want to do is i want to write a logic for this compress but before actually writing the logic for this compress button i want to install one nougat package called tinyfy okay so for that i will go to this project and then I uh, project menu and then I will choose this manage nougat packages okay so I'll click this option there I want to browse for tinyfy that is nothing but the client version of that tiny png okay using this tinyfy only we are going to make a request to that tiny png server and then now I will click this install button okay it is showing some error it is showing that i am using dotnet version 4.0 oh, so it needs uh, some latest version okay so i will change my dotnet version by using this option project and my project properties this image compression is my project name and then this is properties just i will choose this particular option and then see here I am using dotnet framework 4 I will change it to the latest version I am having that is dotnet framework 4.6.1 it is asking me for confirmation choose yes okay it's done now I have the latest dotnet framework version now I will try to install that tinyfy package again I will just click this option and then I will select this install button 
it is asking me for the confirmation i will click this i accept it is the li license acceptance thing i will just accept it and then it will start installing all those packages i will pause this video and then resume it once the downloading is done okay okay the installation is done now i will add my api key to this project so that i can able to work on this tiny file library for that i will create a new class on that class i will store all the metadata of my application like api key okay here i want to give name for my class i will choose app config.cs okay here i am going to create a read only property of type string and this particular property name is api okay and i want to make this particular property as static i will remove the set accessor and then i will give the my api key okay i will open my browser i will copy my api key i will paste it here i pasted my api key into this app config class file okay now i will go to my form okay and then i double click this compress button and then it will create a click event handler for my compress button okay so here we want to write a logic to compress the image size okay i am going to write those logic in a separate function called compress okay so i am going to create a new function called compress there i am going to write a logic to actually compress the image okay so it is this is a private function so private void compress and then i am going to pass two things to this compress button the first one is from where it needs to read a image actually what is the source of that image okay that is pick source that is the source of that image okay pick source as a source so i will just pause that thing pick source and then the second argument is the destination for to where we want to store that image the destination is this thing uh, its name is pick destination uh, i will just copy it and paste it there and then the third argument is the label okay it is just to display the size of that compressed image okay so i will pass it here and then i will modify the signature of this function accordingly so here i want to write a logic to compress the image size so in order to write the logic i want to import that tinyfy api okay so i will use using tinyfy api okay and then here i am going to use one of the class called tinyfy it is here tinyfy here we want to pass the source means which image we want to compress here i am going to use here see there are three versions first two version is we can directly follow pass the file path to this particular from file i think the url also is simple thing you want to pass the url of the image sometime you your user may pass um their profile picture from their google drive okay so at that time you want to directly compress the image from its actual url okay so from url is actually used to do that so the url is not uh, full caps it is u only is caps or only is one okay now i am going to use from buffer okay here see what is the first argument it is byte version it is asking me some of the bytes okay so what i want to do is i want to convert the image in the source picture box to byte what is my source picture box name pic source i will create a separate function to convert image to byte array okay so i will first write that function private it should return byte array okay private byte array and then um, image to byte img to byte 
and then it should receive an image image so in order to use this thing you want to import system dot drawing namespace okay i already did it system dot drawing okay so image and then i will give it as name as image image converter is used to convert image type to any other type that we want so image converter dot convert to we want to convert our image to by tagging okay so we don't we actually want to type type of So what it will do is it will convert our image to byte array and then it will box the result into the object and then it will return object to us. We want to unbox that object back to that byte array. Okay. So here I want to convert the return type to here we are not actually converting we are just unboxing. Okay. So we are we are unboxing the object type to byte array and then I am going to return this result. Okay, that's all. And then here I am going to call the function. Okay. And then the image is from picture source. Picture source is the picture box name. I want to fetch the image of it. Okay. So I am fetching it. I want to store the return result in one of the variable called where source okay and then I want to use source dot to buffer what it will do is it will compress our image and then it will return the compressed version in the form of byte array okay we want to decode that byte array back to image format so i will just collect the result in result okay Here see what is the result of this to buffer it is actually task it is a task object that contains byte array okay so in order to get that particular byte array what we want to do is we want to just make this function as async and then we want to write a key keyword called abyte so what this thing will do is when the function reach this line this particular line it will take some time to actually compress the image and then to return the result so what it will do is it will just return the control from this line so that our ui will become non blocking okay suppose if it stays here means what happens means our ui will get blocked okay so that we can't able to do any action so we want to avoid it once we write this abit keyword see the result it is not actually it has its byte array previously when i didn't write this abit that's also a byte array but that byte array is enca encapsulated within the task but when i wrote this abit keyword see the result it is actual byte array we can process it now what we want to do we want to decode this byte array back to image format for that i will just use another one function i want to create that function that function is private it should return an image um, byte to image and then here i want to receive a byte array as my input byte array of something byte ar some Okay, here I want to create a memory stream where ms equal to new memory stream. 
in order to use memory stream you want to import system.io namespace don't forget it okay and then to this memory stream i want to pass the byte array and then finally i want to return image dot from stream ms it will just decode the byte array back to the image and then i am returning that image okay now here in my compress function what i want to do is i want to just write pick destination dot image is equal to i want to call this function here and then i want to pause result that's all now i will run this application control f5 okay browse i'll just browse it and then i'll click this compress button okay it's showing error okay i forgot to set the tiny file dot key property so i'll just click quit it and then i'll open my constructor and then i'll just set tiny file dot key is equal to i want to i have my key in this app config class so i want to use app config dot api okay that's all i'll run it once again i'll browse image compress it okay see since we write that abide keyword it is actually making me to do whatever i want other if i don't write that abide keyword means it will make my ui to freeze since i wrote that abide keyword my ui is non blocking okay finally it returns that compressed version it really took long time to actually return that thing suppose if we didn't write that abide keyword and make this compress function as asynchronous means it will really freeze the ui so i will just demonstrate you that thing i will just close this thing and i also forget to compute the compressed image size i will also do that thing here so for that i have written a separate function this compute size so i will just call it compute size i want to pass the picture box name picture dust and then the second argument is the label to which we want to display that size that's all i will also move this two function into this particular region okay these are all user defined function that help me with that okay it will make our code to look neat now i run this application once again control f5 browse for image dog compress it see it says it's 4.39 we will check its optimized size here okay see the compressed image size it is actually not even a mb see it is actually 779 kb okay now i will save this image i'll save this image as dog mini any png library it will compress the image to the maximum end okay so now i will just i want to just demonstrate you what will happen if we didn't put this await keyword i will just remove this await keyword and then if i remove this await keyword means i don't want this async keyword here also i'll just remove it and then it's showing error because it needs byte array but it is a task okay so what i will do is dot result see it is actually byte array it returns the result of the task okay i will run this application once again now we we'll see what what is going to happen okay control f5 browse dog i again, again i will choose this particular image dog okay i am going to click this compress button compress see it is actually not working i can't able to move this window why can't able to do anything so this is the result we want to wait till the result is done oh my god my internet connection is too low what can i do 
okay i want to wait i can sleep till then i can sleep okay finally it's done now i can move my application and i can do any other task that i want see this is the result of not using that async await keyword so don't do that thing okay in order to make your application now to freeze do so i will undo my changes now i want to do another three things the first one is when i am waiting for the result i want to load some animated process bar okay so i want to first do that thing and then i will tell what to do next next okay so i will just browse for panel and then i will drag and drop in the center anywhere else it is your option okay i'll drag and drop it here and then i am going to search for a picture box to actually load that particular gif animated gif okay so i will just load it inside it now i will open my properties and then i will adjust the anchor property of this picture box and then i will change the name of this picture box to pic load loading okay and then i will also change the container name to pnl loading container okay now i will just go to this picture box this thing just i will click this button and then i will choose this stretch image option and then i will choose the image that i want to load and then i am going to import one of the images that i am having right now okay this particular loading gif suppose if you don't have that thing means just google for this kind of loading things just google for loading gif and then you will get lot of images like this okay okay now we are in this application let's see what is going to happen it's showing that animated gif but see it is actually hiding my compress button and i don't want it to play at all time i want to just play it once i start my compression i want to end this animation once the compression part is done so for that i will just do one thing i'll just go to my form class and then i am going to write one function Here, i will just extend and expand my helper methods and then here i am going to write my function private void create backdrop here i am going to use pnl loading container dot location we just want to set the location i am going to set the location as Zero zero means this particular thing. Okay, location is equal to new point zero zero, and then I want to set the width and height of that panel to my form width and height. Okay, so PNL loading container dot width is equal to client. rectangle dot width this will get my form width from forms client area width okay client area means the working area other than the title bar okay clean and loading container dot height again i want to set it to client rectangle dot height means i want to play this animation in the entire screen okay and then finally i will set the background color for this particular panel back color is equal to um, color dot black okay let's do okay now i will run this application once again ho oh. oh i haven't called this function i'll just call this function from the constructor now i will run this application see it is actually playing this animation by hiding my whole window Okay, it is actually taking my whole window size. 
now what i want to do is i want to play this animation only when i press the compress button and then i want to end this animation when the compression is done okay so what i will do is i will just create two two functions okay private void mm, play animation loading container dot visible is equal to true and then i again want to write another one function to stop the animation uh, it is not actually stopping and uh, just it will make that it's visible false i will just stop animation this will be equal to false initially i don't want to play this animation so i will call stop animation after creating that backdrop okay and then i want to start this animation in the i just initiated the compression so play animation and then i want to stop this animation once the compression is done so stop animation that's all now i will run this application once again okay browse in order to make this application work faster i will choose this mini file who oh, what happened okay 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 there is some problem in my save file dialog actually i am i think i am see i am storing this picture shows i want to store picture destination okay i will run this application once again so what to do again we want to load this much big file i will test this till this thing this application compress see now it's playing that animation okay i can move this animation i can move this application anywhere because i have used that async await keyword this animation will stop once that compression is done okay okay the compression is done now i will save this image dog mini now i will open this thing okay see see it side okay both of them are looking similar now the second thing that i want to show is how to preserve your metadata during compression okay while compressing the image all metadata will get lost okay so i will just open my browser okay now i will just browse for my image this thing and then i will just find out what all the exif data there in this image actually i added some exif data to that image i took that image from unsplash.com and then i added some exif data to that image here are the some of the exif data i added i added through this particular website only this is just a random site that i get through google search okay here i what i want to do is i want to just preserve this copyright information okay right now um, this tiny png library supports preservation of only three metadata they are copyright location and creation date okay so what i will do is i will i want to just preserve that copyright alone okay so here once i set my source i will just use um, source source equal to source dot preserve here i want to just pause copyright suppose if you also want to preserve that location and creation means you want to pause them as the separate arguments like this uh, suppose location means and creation means like that you want to pause that all the metadata that you want to preserve right now i just want to preserve this copyright only so i will just remove these things now i will just make run this application once again browse for image dog image i will compress it 
okay the compression is done i will just save it mm, dog mini with mm, exif okay now i will open my browser and then i will just select this particular thing before i will just choose my previous compressed image okay I'll just see it my data and then i will also open another own tab to view the metadata of my recent optimized image that is this okay see this is my previous metadata See, my copyright information is still there. All other exif data are vanished. See, it has lot of exif data. My uncompressed image has lot of exif data like manufacturer model software like that. But this thing, after preserving this copyright information, only this copyright information remains there in my image. So this is the power of the tiny image. Okay, the third thing that i want to say to you is you can even do resizing of image through this tiny png api so for that what you want to do is after preserving the metadata i, I am going to write another one thing like source is equal to source dot resize and then here I am going to pass anonymous type as the argument. Okay, here they are supporting four resizing options. I just want you to explore on that thing. I will just show you one particular option. Okay, that is cover method is equal to cover and then. I will pass the width and height. Oh, sorry, this is not a JSON data. I am writing it in a JSON notation. And then I want to pass width and height. It's equal to I will just give hundred. Height is equal to fifty. Okay. Okay, just I am using one of the method called cover. There are still three available in PNG. Okay, just I will just run this application once again before that I will close my existing application. Okay. Now I will just browse dog compress. Now it will do compression, preserving metadata plus resizing. Okay, we will see what is the result. Okay, this is the result. It actually crops. You can see it actually crops. Okay, I'll just save the result. I will just give a name as CB. Okay, I'll just open it. See, okay, what is this? Hundred into fifty. It is actually a dimension that we gave, and then it actually crops the image. Okay. It reduces the size and it crops. Okay, I just want to explore on this resizing thing. And finally, one more thing I forgot to say. Um, that is, um, you have API key from Tiny PNG, but right now we are using the free service. Okay, every free free service um has. Oh, wait, I will show you. Just here, see, these are my API keys that I have created. I will just refresh the thing. This thing. This is my existing API key, and this is my new API key. I just created for this particular tutorial. I will just refresh it. Okay. Right now, I am using free tag. Actually, you may also use this free tag. 
actually now i am using this free tier um see this free tier has some limitations see you can only use 500 images per month okay so once you exceed this 500 image you want to pay 0 0.009 dollar per image till you reach 9500 images and once you exceed that you want to pay 0 0.002 dollar per image okay so this is the thing that i want you to know once the compression is done you want to get notified with how many compression that you did okay so what i will do is i'll just after this compression i'll just use uh, message box dot show message box dot show here i want to use tiny file dot compression count dot value dot to string okay i'll run this application i will browse for the image i will choose some image this thing okay compress okay now i will and this application and then I will pause this image it's my new image I'll compress it okay it did, it did the compression and then it is returning the result actually the image is not looking that much good because I did the trace I say if I remove the trace I image it will look like this image okay see now it is returning three because this is actually a different image okay I will just remove this thing and then I will run it once again. Okay. Because actually I didn't like the trace spot. Okay, I will run it once again. Even before that, I will close existing application. I will just browse for this image. Compress. Okay. Okay. Now see, it is looking nice. But see, my compression count remains 3 because this is the same image as my previous one. Okay, so I will click OK and then I will click the save. Dog 2 mini. I will just do compression of one another image and then I will see its counter. Just I will just choose some other image. This thing. Now my compression count should return 4 because this is a different image. Okay. See, now my compression count is 4. Okay. So, this is the way to work with this tiny PNG. So, thank you for your kind viewing. And if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I will read each and every comments. And then I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Okay. So, make this comment section interactive. And I will meet you soon in one of my other videos. Till then, thank you and goodbye.